As the European Football Championship kicks off this weekend, Germany is once again caught in the grip of football fever. But as German fans prepare to cheer on their team in Ukraine, how many know the huge role played by Germany's Jewish community in the growth of their country's world-beating football culture? In the early 20th century, Jewish societies served as markers of Jewish distinctiveness in Germany, but also helped give birth to numerous football teams, playing a key role in the growth of German football itself. Many Jewish players have had high-profile roles in German football history. Some, like Hans Rosenthal, became legends and icons of Germany's post-war football and television histories. Rosenthal's pre-war predecessors like Gottfried Fuchs and Julius Hirsch are perhaps less known to today's generation of fans. Hirsch was the first ever Jew to play for Germany's national team. Meanwhile, fellow German Jew Fuchs scored a record 10 goals in a single game for Germany, a record set during the 1912 Olympic Games. In the aftermath of World War II, Jewish sports and cultural associations eventually re-emerged in Germany and the revival of German football was made possible by Gustav Mannheimer, a Jewish businessman born in Frankfurt. As America's FIFA representative, Mannheimer voted in favor of letting Germany rejoin the organization in 1950, after having been shut out of world football for 11 years. At the following World Cup in 1954, Germany promptly won the tournament. In the final tune-up game for Euro 2012, Germany faced Israel in Leipzig in front of 45,000 home fans. Germany's last match against Israel was a 7-1 win in 2002. This time Germany had to work hard to record a 2-0 victory, showing only flashes of the flair that has made the Deutschland team one of the favorites for the tournament in Poland and Ukraine. The day after the game in Leipzig, football players and officials of the German Football Federation visited Auschwitz. The German delegation laid a wreath and placed candles at the Auschwitz Holocaust Memorial, which commemorates the mass murder of European Jews during World War II. German Jewish leaders have described the visit as an important gesture which sends a crucial signal to a younger generation of German football fans. However, while Holocaust remembrance will necessarily always overshadow any analysis of Jewish input into 20th century German life, it is in many ways fitting to focus on the positive influence of German Jews on the development of German football. The teams are going to Auschwitz to remember the victims of the Shoah. And here the Olympics are coming up in July 2012 in London and the International Olympic Committee is under pressure from many countries not to have a minute of silence for the murdered Israeli athletes of 1972 Olympics. People like to forget, and they forget quickly and completely. Jews were very active in football in Germany between the wars, but until now that history was suppressed. Everybody knows that for almost a century Bayern Munich has consistently been Germany's best team. Not everybody realizes that Bayern's most influential early club president, Kurt Landauer, was a German Jew. Landauer ran the club from 1919 until the Nazis took power in 1933, forcing him out of his position. Another Jew, Richard Dombey, trained the team for three successful years in the 1920s, a period which saw Bayern record the club's first ever league title. Despite this record of success, Dombi too was forced to leave the team when the Nazis took over the country. Nevertheless, Bayern remained popularly known as a Jewish club throughout the Nazi era and continued to enjoy this reputation until the formation of the Bundesliga in the 1960s. But what would football in Germany be today if the sport had not made its way into the homes of millions of German fans? The country's most popular and longest running football magazine kicker was actually founded by a Jewish publisher, Walter Benjamin. As fate would have it, Benjamin died in exile in 1934 after fleeing the Nazis. Joseph Goebbels, 
Nazi Germany's propaganda minister, took over control of Benzeman's popular magazine, and in 1939 published a notorious article which whitewashed the prominent role of Jews in the formative years of German football. No mention was made of German Jewish heroes such as Fuchs and Hirsch. And today, every Jewish name, every Jewish athlete, every football player who ever participated in the national team is again in the history books of the Deutschen Fußballbund. The rise to power of the Nazis in the early 1930s led to the systematic removal of Jews from German public life, bringing with it an end to what had been a major Jewish presence in Germany's growing football culture. Few today remember the Jewish football heroes of Germany's interwar years but they help shape a football in tradition which is today among the most vibrant in the world. This is Wilson Ruiz for Jewish News One and Germany.